Today you're going to learn how to make objects to point at the center of a circle. So let's hit the camera, the light, go to 70 nodes, let's close this panel and this one. And let's create a new profile. First we are going to delete this and create like a fast arrow. So I'm going to use a cylinder. Let's go into here. I want to make it more narrow, so let's decrease the radius. And I want to make it longer, something like that. And I want to add at the top a cone. So let's add a cone. Let's check it. Okay, we need to join both geometries. So let's join with join geometry. Now we have this fast arrow. And here I can see that I need to move this. So I'm going to add here a transform geometry and just decrease the Z. So I can see this better. Perfect. I want more resolution, so let's add more vertices. Okay, we have a fast arrow. I'm going to make this more point. So I think it's this one. No, not this one. Maybe this one. Yes, something like that. Okay, we have our arrow. So let's call this arrow. And now we want a cycle. So let's cut this and add a curved cycle. Let's connect it. Here we have our cycle. Let's make it bigger, something like this, for example. And now I want to add this arrow around the circle. So remember, always we need instance on points. Because we are going to use this arrow as instance. So let's connect this here. First, let's decrease the size. I'm going to add value so I can control the three axes at the same time with only one node. So we have a lot of arrows. I don't want so much. So this is the number of resolution. If you decrease the resolution of the circle, you have less objects. For example, I'm going to leave eight. Now, how we do that these arrows point to the center of the circle. To do this, what we have to do is to do something with rotation. So if we click here, we can see that we are changing the rotation. However, all the objects are rotating at the same axis. But we know we have to do something here. So what you have to do is to add a line Euler to vector. And we have to use the normals of the cycle. That means the normal is like the direction of the any point in the circle. So we want to use these directions. So to use the direction, we need to use vector, not rotation. We need to connect something here because a normal is a position. So let's use normal node. And now to fix this, you have to click here or here. So let's check this one. It's not working. Let's check the other. This one, the Z is the correct one. So now we have these arrows pointing outside. If you want this, perfect. If you want the opposite, what we can do, there is a lot of options. One option is to add here a transform and rotate all these objects 180 degrees in, for example, let me check which axis is, in Z axis. So, Let's go here and add 180 degrees. So we solve the problem. This is one option. If you don't want to use this option, one of the fastest ways to rotate this is also adding after this a simple node called invert rotation. Basically, inverse the rotation of whatever we have. So if I click here, now it's inverted. As simple as that. So this is another option. If you don't want this one, what you can do also is after all these, all the points are instance, just add instance, sorry, rotate instance. So now you have control to rotate all the instance and we can do the same here. For example, if we add 180 degrees. So as you can see, there is a lot of ways to do it. I think the fastest one is the one of invert rotation here. By the way, 
If you want to have more control and not use, for example, this, what you can do is to add here points, sorry, curve, curve to points. If we add this here, first, we're going to lose the rotation, don't worry, now I'm going to explain why. And now the number of points will be this number. It's not anymore this one. This will be the resolution of the cycle. So I recommend you to increase this to at least have a cycle resolution. And now this is the number of objects. So here you can add more or less. So now why we lose this thing? Because when we add this after this, now we don't use a curve. We are using points to convert it to instance. So we lose the information of the cycle. However, what you can do is to delete this and just connect it here in normal. So if you connect this normal like before in the vector, it works perfectly, as you can see. By the way, if you want all the arrows, all the objects to follow the direction of a circle or any curve, just connect it to tangent. So if we connect this to tangent, we get this rotation. If you want the opposite, just the latest one. So you can see how easy it is to adjust the rotation of any object using the normals and the tangent. I'm going to leave it like that because I prefer it. If you want to have this, but with an sphere, I recommend you to use, for example, a microsphere. But we need to delete this because this only works with curve. So let's delete this. Let's connect here. Let's make it bigger and add more subdivision so we have more objects and now we need to reconnect here normal so let's add normal and now this is not working well let's delete this so outside it's working sometimes if you add this it's not working as you expect but don't worry i showed you two other ways to use it so in this case if i want all these arrows to point at the center I will do just rotate instance. And we already have all the objects like in a sphere. It's an icosphere, but looks like a sphere pointing at the center. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So, see you next video.